Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. The earbuds I'm going to talk about today are the Edifier Nearbuds Pro which were recently launched on Indiegogo. And these buds have some really interesting features so let's not waste more time and jump right into it. But first I have to tell you that I got the Neobots Pro from Edifier for this review, but I'm not receiving any payment whatsoever for this video, nor they have any influence on what I'm going to say to you about their product. Now, I don't usually bring up the packaging in my reviews because honestly, I couldn't care less, but in this case I have to make an exception, as the box the earbuds came in is unexpectedly huge. It's well padded and it looks and feels premium, so that's all good. In the box you can also find 7 pairs of color-coded antibacterial ear tips, along with a USB-C cable and a nice carry pouch, which is way more than what you usually get in terms of accessories, regardless of price, but not even all these can really justify the size of the box. I understand that it's Edifier's 25 years anniversary edition, but they could have fit everything in a box half the size in my opinion, making their own logistics more economical, and maybe it would have been a touch more environmental friendly too. But you did not come here to listen to me talking about this stuff, so let's just move on to the earbuds themselves. Well, at first look, they show a striking similarity to the Edifier NB2 Pro and the Earphone Air Pro, both of which were designed and manufactured by Edifier. But they rounded off some of the straight lines and sharp edges on the Neobots Pro, resulting in a look which is more sleek and low profile in my opinion. Build quality is great, fit and comfort are first class, at least in my ears. The earbuds weigh in at around 5.4 grams each and they are IP54 rated, which means that they are sweat and dust proof. It is a step above the average weather ceiling we can see in most earbuds these days with their usual IPX4 rating. And the snug fit together with this level of ruggedness, the low weight and the very generous selection of silicone ear tips can easily make these buds a good option for fitness enthusiasts such as myself. The case is very well built too, with the use of this nice, soft, rubbery coating, and that aluminium or at least aluminium looking insert on the top of the lid makes it feel and look like it belongs to a class higher than its price tag would make you believe. The Neobots Pro cost $129 by the way. Back to the case, it's solidly built, but the lid or rather the hinge could be a bit more sturdy or springy, as it tends to loosely flop around a bit when open. Inside the case there is a pairing button, on the front you can see a battery status LED, and on the back you can find the USB-C port, which is your only option to charge the buds, as the case does not support Qi wireless charging. The total battery life can be 24 hours with ANC turned off. The buds will last about 6 hours on their own. If you turn on the active noise cancellation, it drops to around 5 hours, and the total use time will be around 20 hours or so. If you run out of juice, then 10 minutes of quick charging can give you 1 hour of use. Moving on to connection, we get Bluetooth 5.0 along with SBC and AAC, and there is a new codec called Low Latency High Definition Audio Codec, aka LHDC. With this, the bitrate can go up to 900 kilobits per second, which is much higher than what you can get with either SBC or AAC, and it also supports 24 bit 96 kHz high res music playback, and that's where the high res wireless audio badge on the box comes from. The only problem is that my Sony Xperia 5 Mark II does not support this new format, as I only have Aptex or LDAC on board. And talking about LDAC, there is a menu option in the Edifier smartphone app, with the LDAC codec as a selectable option, but it says it's not available yet, and it only comes with a future software update. So I cannot use LHDC or LDAC at the moment. And regardless of all these fancy codecs, I had a few issues with the connection too, as I had to use the pairing button inside the case a couple of times to make both buds connect to my phone, as the right bud refused to do that on its own. After a while it started working properly, with only the occasional hiccup when pairing, so not sure what happened there at the beginning. But after a successful pairing, I always got a solid connection with no signal dropouts, so that's a good thing. Watching movies did not show any lip sync issues, and thanks to the dedicated game mode, now you can have a latency as low as 80 milliseconds, which should make playing games a smooth experience. Single bot mode is available, so any of the two bots can be used on its own. 
And as far as phone call quality goes, this is what you can expect from these buds in a quiet room. I would call the voice transmission quality great. The three mics on each bud can pick up my voice clearly. And now let me turn on some noise to see how the noise cancelling algorithm can filter out the ambient chatter that comes from the speakers in front of me. So this was the mic quality test of the Edifier Neobot Pro. Next up are the controls and I have to say that this is the only area where these buds need some work before I can consider them acceptable. So we get touch controls on each stem and they register touches quite well even if not quite 100% accurately. But the biggest problem is the limited functionality of the controls. You only have the double tap and the triple tap actions to control the buds, which means 4 remappable functions two on each bud. However, there are eight different functions to choose from the settings in the app. Play, pause, volume up and down, track forward and backward, voice assistant, ambient modes and the game mode switch. And it means that half of the controls cannot be used as you can assign only four of these functions to the double and triple tap actions. And that's nowhere near good enough. I only hope Edifier will add at least a single tap or a tap and hold action to the list at some stage so we can have fully functional touch controls. But until then you have to choose which functions you want to control from the earbuds without having to take your phone out of your pocket all the time. And let's not forget the fact that there are no inner sensors on the earbuds either so we don't have autoplay pause. But let's see what features are available in the Edifier app. We have the ANC settings on the main page, but I will talk more about that in just a minute. Swiping left brings us to the EQ settings with two presets and the custom mode. The custom mode is basically a parametric EQ which offers you control over the gain of four customizable frequency bands with an adjustable Q value which is the bandwidth of each adjustment. You can save multiple custom EQ profiles. You can swipe left from the EQ settings and that's where you find the game mode switch. Clicking on the little gear icon in the top right corner takes you into the settings. This is where you find the touch control remapping options, some connection related settings, a user manual and there is also a slider to adjust the sensitivity of the touch controls. Plus you get the LHDC settings and the LDAC button as well, but as I realized it earlier they are of no use to me at the moment. But there is one feature which can prove to be more than useful and that's the active noise cancelling. There are four modes in the app. One is ANC high, two is ANC low, three is ambient sound which also has a slider where you can adjust the strength of the ambient noise and four is normal mode aka noise cancelling off. And to my biggest surprise, the Neobots Pro performed at least as well if not better in my airplane cabin noise test as the Sony WF-1000 Dexmark 4 and that's quite something from a pair of earbuds which cost less than half of what most people consider to be the best noise cancelling earbuds ever made. And the Edifier buds didn't show any sign of weakness in my traffic noise test either, regardless of how fierce of a competition I put them up against. They could easily keep up with the Sony XM4 or the Bose QC earbuds in terms of their ANC performance, especially with low frequency rumbles and hums. Fighting ambient chatter might not be the strong suit of the Neobots Pro, but it proves to be a tough task to accomplish for all earbuds out there, including the Sony and the Bose. I also compared the ANC to the One More Comfobots Pro and the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro, as both of these earbuds are in the same price range as the Neobots Pro, but I have to say that neither of them can compete with the Edifier when it comes to blocking out the world around you. But even though I got these impressive results in my tests, please do not forget that the noise cancelling performance largely depends on the fit and passive isolation you can get from the earbuds you use, and that varies from person to person, making generalizations such as the best ANC earbuds to date kind of pointless. Having said that, the Neobots Pro are one of the best ANC earbuds I have ever tried regardless of price. And as for their sound, well, Edifier did spare no expense and crammed a lot of cutting edge tech inside the Neobots Pro to provide you with a great musical experience. We get a two-way driver setup with a custom designed dynamic driver being responsible for the bass and mid-bass frequencies and there is the nose balanced armature driver to cover the higher octaves. And these two drivers along with the biamping and the DSP controlled active crossover are able to deliver something special when it comes to sound quality. 
The bass hits really hard and it also goes deep. It's quite intense, but it's also well controlled and snappy. I'm no bass head, but this is one of the most impactful bass I've ever heard on true wireless earbuds, without most of the disadvantages that usually come with such a strong low end. Sure, there is still some auditory masking present, which means that the perception of certain mid-range frequencies is affected by the heavy bass. But this is mostly under control. The mids have a great presence in the mix, even though they are ever so slightly pushed back compared to both the bass and the highs, but not to the extent that it would render the mid-range lifeless or thin. In the treble region, everything comes through with plenty detail and energy. The top end of the frequency spectrum is crisp, but maybe some air and extension could make the bud sound more open and transparent. It could probably get better with the use of the LHDC or the LDAC codec, as it's supposed to have a better top end with an extension of up to 40 kHz, as opposed to the 20 kHz AAC cuts off at. So maybe all the subtle differences I heard when comparing these buds to the Sony WF-1000X Mark IV could very well be due to the lack of a better codec on the Neobuds in my case. But high res codec or not, instrument separation is one of the highlights of the Neobuds Pro, thanks to the dual driver setup. There is no muddiness in the sound whatsoever, and all the individual elements of the music can be heard separately, while the presentation stays cohesive as a whole. Soundstage dimensions are a bit limited, but the imaging is on point. The sound is not quite as refined as you can hear on some truly high-end earbuds from Sony or Sennheiser, but the edifiers certainly sound better than some of their direct competitors. There are the One More Comfobuds Pro, for example, which can sound thin and bright in comparison, or the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro, which sacrifices more clarity in the mid-range in order to deliver a good bass, even if the bass has nowhere near as good of a kick as it does on the edifier. The JBL Reflect Mini and CBOTS have great bass, but it lacks the speed and detail of the Neobots Pro, so the whole presentation is less tight. So what conclusion can we draw from this test? In short, Edifier has come up with something special in this price range. The buds are top of the class or even beyond their own class from most aspects. Design, build quality, fit, comfort, phone call quality, sound and especially the active noise cancelling. In some other areas, such as battery life and software features, they can deliver an average performance, while their connection and controls might need some work, but both can easily be improved through software updates in the future, so let's hope we get those soon enough. But even without these updates, the bots perform exceptionally well in everyday use, so all I can do is recommend them to anyone looking for some great all-rounder, not too expensive earbuds. And this was my review of the Edifier Neobuds Pro. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions left, please leave a comment down below. As always, I really appreciate you watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one too.